Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with a quick review of the O-Ray UHD-EX230-KVM HDMI extension kit with KVM functionality. This product allows you to very easily share all of your HDMI media content with a second remote location up to 70 meters away over a single Cat6 or Cat7 LAN cable. The product fully supports 4K ultra high definition media content and is both HDMI 2.0B as well as HDCP 2.2 compliant, which means it'll work with all of your modern media gear and a wide variety of different media styles. The product features power over cable technology, which means a single power supply is all you'll need to operate the entire solution. The sender module provides local loopback functionality, which allows you to enjoy the content here while you're simultaneously broadcasting it to the remote location. And the receiver module provides KVM connectivity, so you can connect up a keyboard and mouse here and remotely control a computer at the primary site. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit. And then I'll take a closer look at both of the modules and explain the connections and indicators so you understand how to use it with your own equipment at home. Home. And then finally, I'll come back and point out a few things that really separate this particular HDMI extension kit from a lot of other products you may be considering. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open up the box, you'll find a sender module and a receiver module. This one is located at the primary site. This one is located at your remote site. You'll also find a set of brackets you can use to mount these modules up off the ground and out of the way. Included with the kit is a single 12 volt 1 amp power supply. You plug this in any wall outlet, the other end has a barrel connection on it. And because the solution uses power over cable technology, you can plug this in at the remote site or at the primary site, and the power required for the other module is sent across that LAN cable. You'll also find a connection cable, which is a USB to USB, at the sender side that you'll connect to a computer if you decide to use the KVM functionality at the remote site. Also included is a warranty card and a full instruction manual that lists all the details you'll need to understand about the product to use it correctly, including connection diagrams and specifications. So always a good idea to read through the manual. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at both modules and explain how they work. And then I'll come back and point out a few things that I really like about this kit that you can use if you decide to compare it to others you may be considering. The kit includes both a sender and a receiver module. Both of these feature full metal enclosures, which make them incredibly durable. Let's start with the sender module. You'll notice on either side there are ventilation slots in the cabinet. Those are designed to let any heat that develops during operation escape and keep the electronics inside at a very comfortable temperature. On the bottom of the module are mounting holes that can be used with the included bracketing kit to mount the module up off the ground and out of the way. On the one end of the module, You'll find a service port on the left that's a micro USB port that's used for moving new versions of firmware to the module if needed later on. Oftentimes new firmware comes out that updates features and to do that upgrade you'll connect this up to your computer with a micro USB cable, push the firmware file to the module to complete that upgrade. To the right of that are two HDMI ports, HDMI out and HDMI in. The HDMI in port connects to whatever media device you'd like to share the content from with your remote location, standard HDMI connection there. This product also provides local loopback functionality, which allows you to enjoy the content here that you're sharing with the remote location. And if you'd like to use that feature, you'll connect the second cable from here to a local monitor to enjoy that content. On the side of the module, you'll find two EDID switches, and those control the frame rate and resolution of the media content you're transmitting. They're fully explained in the manual. On the other end, you'll find a LAN port on the left. That's where one end of the CAT6 or CAT7 cable between the modules connect. Plug it in there, plug the other end into the receiver module. To the right of that is a PC connection. This product provides KVM functionality. So on the sender side, this module plugs into your PC with the included cable. Plug one end in here, the other end has a USB-A connection on it. Plug it into any available port on your computer. Finally, to the right of that is a DC input port. You can plug the power supply into a wall outlet. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it, and you can plug it in here to give power to this unit. Now, because this system uses power over cable technology, you can plug that in here, or you can plug it in at the remote location, and the power required for the other module is sent over that same shared LAN connection. The receiver module is very similar. Again, a metal cabinet, ventilation slots on both sides, mounting holes on the bottom for the bracketing kit, on the back, you'll find the same firmware update or service port right there. It's a micro USB port. To the right of that is an HDMI output port. 
and that's connected to the local monitor you'd like to enjoy the content on. This product also provides audio extraction capabilities that will digitally strip the audio from the media content being sent to this module, and you can pass that along through this left and right analog output to a home stereo or soundbar for better quality audio if you choose to do that. On the other end of the module, you'll find another LAN port here. That's where the other end of that CAT6 or CAT7 cable plugs in. Again, a dedicated cable between the sender and here. To the right of that are two full-size USB-A ports for a keyboard and a mouse. If you use the KVM functionality, just plug your peripherals in right here. You'll make the connection to the remote computer. Finally, another DC input port right there. And again, because of the power over cable technology, you'll either plug the power supply in here or you'll plug it in on the sender end. You don't need to plug one in at each end. That's pretty much it for the modules. I hope that closer look was helpful. Now here are a few really important things to keep in mind when you're comparing the O-Ray UHD-EX230-KVM HDMI extension kit with other products you may be considering. The first thing has to do with resolution. This product fully supports 4K ultra high definition media content at resolutions up to 60 frames a second. A lot of other products on the market may support lower resolutions like 1080p, or if they support 4K, it may only be 30 frames a second. So knowing you've got a kit that can handle the highest resolution possible means you're gonna get a crystal clear picture at your remote location. Another important difference is that this product is both HDMI 2.0B and HDCP 2.2 compliant. And that's important because HDMI has gone through a lot of changes in recent updates, and knowing you've got a very late version of HDMI on the product means you can take advantage of a lot of the features that have been introduced recently. The HDCP compliance is important as well because that controls copy protection, so knowing you've got the very latest HDCP standard on the product means you won't have any issues playing the content at your remote location. Another key difference between this and a lot of other kits on the market is the fact that it uses power over cable technology, which greatly simplifies your wiring because it means a single power supply is all you'll need to operate the entire solution. The local loopback functionality is really important as well because that allows you to enjoy the content at your primary site while you're simultaneously sending it to the remote site. If you don't have that capability, you can only watch the content here or send it to the remote site, but you can't do both. With this product, you can do both. The last thing I'll mention is the fact that it has KVM functionality built in, which is a real benefit because it allows you to connect up a keyboard mouse here and actually remotely control a computer that's located at the primary site. So you could be sitting here using a computer that can be up to 70 meters away. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. I like this product an awful lot, and I think you'll like it as well. So thanks for watching, and until next time, stay nerdy.